Okay guys, so it's the first day here in the Marais neighborhood. This is like one of the fashion, fashionable districts here in Paris. Um, and right now headed to um, Lagos Fashion Week um, to support some of our African designers. So uh, Macchio, House of Sakura are some of the designers that will be there. Um, it's more of a meet the designers. They had press appointments earlier that I, I missed because I came to Paris later than planned but it's cool. So I'm just happy to go over there. I actually saw the Macchio runway show um, during New York Fashion Week. So excited to see um, what they have going on here in Paris. So bring you guys with me. Katush? Yes. By Katush Gulam Wandwa. Follow me on Instagram as Katush Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do women's wear, but I also do androgynous cuts that are also suitable for men and women. How do you design that and how do you know that it's fit worthy for men and women? Okay. So What's the art behind that? Because there's definitely a strategy. It's <laughs> true. Um, actually, I discovered it by mistake. So okay. I used to make pieces and there were guys that were like, okay, I'm buying that. And I'm like, oh. Oh. Well, let's be intentional about it. Yeah. yeah. So with my pieces, they're very easy fitting. So you'll find that even in terms of the shoulder, with the women, I always used to drop the shoulder. So it would fit appropriately for a man anyway. So from that, I just started exploring that further. But in terms of the grading, I now have had to do two yeah. different gradings. Because with some of my pieces, like this one, um, the shoulder is quite snug for a female fit. So with the man's one, I sort of expand the shoulder, then you'll have two different items. So the men fit and the women fit. Um, but that's something I've started doing more recently. Fun details, so we have slits on the side. And then you always need pockets. Always, that because that always that gives the look. Of course it has pockets. Where are you putting your phone, yeah. your keys, your light? You're so like, yeah, it's great fun. And it's like all kinds of details. Sometimes I slot in color in there. You say it's inspired by what? The pocot and their okay. process of initiation. Um, with the pocot, um, they sort of guide or prepare their youth for adulthood, basically. And this is something I got off. Uh, some obsessed like Angela, <coughs> Angela Fisher Box and Carol Beck Beckwith, and they document all sorts of communities and cultures across the continent. And um, so there's this um, chapter about both the Pokot boys and the Pokot girls. Are they all based in Kenya? As well? The Pokot are based in Kenya. Okay. Um, and part of the journey of getting into adulthood, they sort of cover their boys in this really interesting twisted um, look that shields their faces and they're taken out and guided by their peers and their mentors um, basically to prepare them for what is expected of them into adulthood. And with the girls, there's a process of scarification and I'm like, oh, you wear your scars proudly, I am now a woman. And this is what I've done with that. Okay. Oh, yes. wow. And so this is also the same dress I'm wearing. Yeah. And it's worn layers, I'm wearing the full neck, the shirt. This, this is great fun. And last question, you know, with being um, in such a society of, you know, be, keeping up with trends and as a designer, how do you, you know, keep up with what's out there, but also making sure that you're staying true to your culture, your design, and your identity as a designer? In terms of keeping up with trends, I try, I sort of try to stay away from that. Yes, yeah. I basically, I'm just like, well, that's something very hard to keep up with, and they're always going to change. One second, I will be fashionable, the next I won't. So yeah. And I'm like, who I'm targeting is a conscious, compassionate kind of individual. So people who sort of buy into that ethos and have, and have a history or relationship with my brand and are willing to continue along that path. And so my job is like, I make these cool things. Do you like these cool things? I'll stay true to that. Let's go to that. Hi, Deepa. Hi. 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 How are you? Great. Tell us a little bit about your collection of pieces you have here. This is some of the action that I brought to Paris. It's diversity. And it's called diversity because I, I picked elements of nature and I've been uh, studying nature for a long time and seeing how the flowers and the plants and the birds. And nature generally lives together in peace and, and abundance. And this is what I feel like we need in the planet right now. 
now. And so all my prints are inspired by this. We have um, the bird's print. And we've actually mixed, we've mixed the birds with the flowers as in nature. You know, everything lives so beautifully and peacefully. And that's my message with this uh, collection. Because I wish the world would be like nature. Amen. And it is uh, designed with, you know, powerful women. Women who are fearlessly, you know, collaborative and beautiful. And my clients... Um, who are supportive of each other. They love lightness. And so the whole collection is based on that. The, you know, and the dresses are super, super light. I've, uh, what are some of the uh, materials? For so, so it's stretch silk. We only use natural fabrics. We have never ever used synthetics. And uh, the whole collection this time is silk. And I do have a little bit of linen. And the flowers are all uh, hand painted, hand embroidered, and through the art of embroidery we empower women. So they're all um, one of a kind jackets, all of them. Uh, so each, are, each have their unique tailoring or unique designs to it. Yeah, right? so completely one of a kind. Every pattern you see is made by a Nigerian textile designer. And Lisa is super big on sustainable fashion, so she uses a lot of eco content. And she's also very big on creating employment opportunities for women in Nigeria, because it's also always um, very hard and the minimum wage is ridiculous. So every single thing is manufactured and produced in Nigeria, in her studio, and everything is handmade. So. There's no wastage on the wow. material. And this is a very popular piece actually. Everyone's like obsessed with this. Song. This is beautiful. It's yeah. like a it's, it's like a dress on top Yeah, that's of what I'm it. saying. Yeah, it's definitely a mix of a slip dress, which is of course a go-to yeah. for any season. Yeah. But she added the puff this puff sleeve, sleeve yeah. which is another go-to for yeah. the season. That's something that's awesome. Awesome.
Ses yeux qui font baisser les miens Un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche Voilà le portrait sans retouche De l'homme auquel j'appartiens Hey guys, it's the first of the month. I can't believe it, it's October 1st. Like literally September and the summer went by so fast. So it's the last day of Paris Fashion Week. So I wanna to try to do a little bit better about just showing you everything what happens during the day, what I'm doing, if it's anything special. And um, just show you a little bit around Paris. I'm not gonna to do too much today because it's rainy. But today um, I have the Junko Shimada show and Louis Vuitton. I'm super excited about both, especially Louis Vuitton. So definitely gonna show you guys around and um, you know, let me know what you wanna see. Okay, so it's like 12.20 right now and I'm really just getting my day started. At least I'm out and about. I started going out like around 11, um, just trying to get tourists and, and souvenirs to bring back to friends and family. And um, Valerie's leaving me. So finally I get to have some peace. <laughs> so right now we're having lunch, um, really my breakfast, and we actually ate here yesterday. It's at Le Matin Brasserie, and I think we're in the Montmartre area. I don't know. I'll let you guys know, and I'll make sure that I um, tag everything so you guys know. But um, I ate here yesterday. I had chicken and salad, roasted chicken and salad. It was so good. It was honestly the best meal I've had here. So I definitely recommend it. Um, it's just a simple cafe, but it's worth it and it's a good price. So the next hand-delivered invitation I had was from Louis Vuitton. How cute is this? So they hand-delivered the bag. So inside the bag is a clutch, an envelope clutch, which could be used for anything. I would use it for a passport holder, but you know, you can put anything in here. So this would be held at Guys, I did not think I was gonna make it because of course, stuck in traffic. I try to leave 30 minutes earlier, but hey, I still end up being late. But I'm not late because everyone else is fashionably late. See, they're all arriving. So this is being held at the Louvre. You can see it right there. So here is the whole Place du Carousel, all here. So yeah, I'm gonna do some runway covers so you all can see it gonna be sick. It's excited. <laughs> 